So I am struggling to come up with a video for today. Um, so I figured, since I got so many new people to my channel in the last month, I would go ahead and kind of tell you a little bit about me. I've done this before in one of my podcasts. Um, getting ready to have breakfast right now and head to the gym. And so I had figured I'd talk a little bit about me. So first off, my name's Anthony McNutt. I'm a competitive strongman weightlifter. Um, I'm married to my wife, Danielle. She and I have been together since 2011. We got married and uh, we were got together the year before. Um, prior to that, I was engaged to a girl for five years and things just uh, didn't work out. So uh, we had our first kid in 2014, my daughter, Braley. And my daughter, or my, so she's four and a half, so my son was born just this past February, and uh, so he's almost 10 months old. Um, I'm 31 years old. I live in the same town I grew up in. I was actually born in California uh, and lived a little bit in uh, Oklahoma. Uh, I don't remember any of it. I was... Uh, less than a year old during that whole time of moving and uh, living in Oklahoma. Um, sorry, I cleaned my pan for breakfast. Let's see. I graduated high school in 2005 and went on to uh, a local community college after that where I got my associate's degree in fire science. Uh, during that time, I was co-oping at a local chemical company where my father worked and my grandfather retired from. Um, I also, in 2005, after high school, got on the local volunteer fire department. I was a fourth generation firefighter on that family. Um, about a year ago, I decided to give that up because I didn't have enough time to commit to it. Um, so my career now is I still work at one of the local chemical companies here as a emergency service provider. I'm an EMT, a firefighter, a hazmat technician, and a law, uh, not exactly law enforcement, but, uh, security. Um, about a year ago, I decided to move out of the field and into dispatch. Um, I was just getting tired of training really heavy and hard and uh, going to work and being sore and having to climb towers and worry about having an emergency response while I'm sore as none other and can't move around too well. So I moved up into dispatch and I enjoy it there. Um, not where I want to spend the rest of my career. Um, eventually we'll get back out into the field. Um, and eventually into a Monday through Friday day job there, which we do have, um, just not anything anytime soon. And it's something probably I'll do once my kids are closer to high school age. That way, you know, I can get out of work and go to sporting events afterwards, um, be off on the weekends for sporting events, stuff like that. If you know, the kids want to get into that stuff, which I believe my daughter does. Um, as you guys can see, she loves to be out in the gym lifting with me. And uh, I'm sure the boy will follow right in her footsteps along with mine. So um, so as for weightlifting, um, in high school I was a football player for three years and a wrestler for all four years in high school. Um, I wasn't as big into football as I was wrestling, so... Uh, my senior year, I focused just on wrestling. Uh, was going to go to college to wrestle, but um, some ends fell through there, and I wasn't able to go to that school. Um, coach, The co wrestling coach there was supposed to get back to me 
for some housing and didn't get back to me in time in order to sign up for classes. So I had to drop out of that school and go to a more local school where I could commute back and forth to classes. Um, let's see. So after college, I, uh, through college, I didn't do a lot of weight training or anything like that. Um, occasionally I would do some stuff at the gym at work, but, um, nothing too serious. In 2010, 2011, I would say around the, that, those two years there, I started focusing a lot on getting back into shape. I was way out of shape. I was a big dude. I'm, I'm still a big dude, but, uh, I was way fatter back then as I, I am now, but, uh, got into the gym, started doing a lot of weightlifting, um, to try and lose weight, doing cardio, eating better, to lose weight before our wedding in 2011. Um, and I got down, I lost probably 60 pounds then. I went from about two, 350 down to 290. And uh, at, uh, that's what I weighed at the wedding. So um, after that, I kind of got out of things a little bit. And uh, noticed I was getting big again. So I decided to get into weightlifting got really strong and uh, people were noticing that saw me in the gym and stuff and people started telling me to get into a weightlifting competition. So in 2012, I started looking around online, found a, was looking for a powerlifting meet and ended up finding a strongman competition locally. I say locally, it was about, about an hour from my house, which isn't too bad. <coughs> um, went to that, competed. I was the only novice competitor there. I actually went up against a teenager um, and got hooked immediately. Uh, went there without any kind of equipment and uh, started buying stuff from my home gym in 2012 right after that. So um, slowly growing onto that every so often. And uh, it all... It all kind of spiraled downhill from there, doing competitions. Um, most I ever did in one year was I did five competitions in one year. I've done competitions in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Tennessee, West Virginia, and Arizona. Um, Long-term goal of mine is to compete in every single state. Um, Short-term goal is to qualify for nationals or something like that, um, just to get that experience and exposure. So... Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about me. Um, hobbies outside of weightlifting and stuff like that are not very much any, of anything anymore with the kids. I used to enjoy going hunting and stuff like that, but, <clears throat> uh, between weightlifting, having kids, not living on property where I could go out my back door and go hunting, kind of took away from all that. I love to go camping and on trips with the family. Um, if you guys have been around a little while, you'll... I know that I have a camper sitting right out in my driveway. Um, so yeah, love to tour my own state and other states. Um, there's so much that Michigan has to offer that uh, uh, is there's a lot of stuff to enjoy, basically. So um, yeah, that's really all I got to say, I think. So, I know this is long enough already. I appreciate you guys for sticking in this long. Um, this is going to be edited and put up right now. Um, well, it's 10 o'clock, so it'll be up at noon. So, and then I'm going to head to the gym and record there. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, my friends, lift big, eat big, and get big. And we'll catch you here tomorrow.